Visitors to state parks on the island declined by nearly a million this year. Regional Director George Gorman explains. Well, overall, attendance was down. The weather did not cooperate. The still lingering effects from Superstorm Sandy in that a lot of people weren't able to get out and enjoy the beaches, enjoy the parks as they normally would. So far, we've actually been having a very good winter. Last year, after the effects of Superstorm Sandy, all Long Island State Parks closed down for at least a couple of weeks. Several parks did not open until Memorial Day weekend. The year before, we had Tropical Storm Irene, which affected attendance. This year's attendance so far, if you compare it to three years ago, we're doing very well. We're having a normal wintertime attendance. During uh, the summertime, we could see uh, up to 12 million to 14 million visitors uh, at the uh, all Long Island State Parks. However, during the off season, we still have we still see two to four million visitors. Usually, my wife and I we do uh, nature walks that highlight the seasons. We take people through the woods and kind of talk about some of the changes we see. Winter is a really great place to experience nature because uh, you kind of get a different perspective on what the environment is like. And there are things you see in the winter that you don't see in the summer, like the winter ducks. The leaves are down, you can see better. And it's nice to experience the woods in winter. It's quiet, it's still, and it helps give you a better appreciation. It is one of the best times if you're afraid to go out during the summer when you're going to see a large amount of people at some of the parks, this is the time to come out and enjoy it. During the fall right now, the foliage, the changing tree colors, it's magnificent. They are all just treasures that we have on Long Island that people should come out and enjoy.